All right, hello everybody. I'm Tony Gaiametti, along with the living legend Larry Zabisco. And actually, that's not correct. Uh, Tony Gaiametti. Uh, so I'll explain that very quickly. Yes, everything is going swimmingly currently. I'll say that. Tony Gaiametti was what my uh, closed captioning rendered it on my TV for a bootleg version of SummerSlam. No, would have been SummerSlam night. Yeah, SummerSlam '89 because it was Tony. Uh, Shivani and um, the other guy, Jesse Ventura, who were announcing. And uh, it was rendered as Tony Gaiametti. So a lot of times when I see Tony Shivani, which thankfully we're seeing Tony Shivani uh, a lot more these days, um, when I see him, uh, I often refer to him as, oh, I need to send him down to the. Right, I don't need to send him anywhere. What the heck am I doing? Zushu should be like at the forefront of the battle. How's his loyalty doing? It's fine. How's everything else about him? Yeah, what the hell is he doing here? Not sure why I didn't bring him along. Uh, but let's take him down to province 34. So we need to deliver a couple of crushing blows. Now the great part is if uh, Lu Zhang and we'll find out which province Lu Zhang is in. Whatever province he, he... I don't know which one he went to because they're all shitty provinces. Like, we've definitely chased him out of the best areas. Okay, he's here. He's got, like, nothing going. That's great. Uh, excellent. Um, he does have enough rice to carry on. If we chase him to a province that doesn't have enough rice to carry on, though, we'll be in super shape. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. I don't even, it's probably not even necessary. Okay, province 17, you. Okay, let's see. When are we gonna be able to move again? So I'll tell you what, I'm not too worried about uh, Zutai. Oh yeah, I know Zutai, right. And of course, uh, our good friend Sao Ren, he's not willing to uh, stop being disloyal quite yet. Anyway, it'll take us a couple of turns to uh, recock the gun, you might say and be ready to deliver a hammer blow. But everything is pretty much going towards uh, completion now. I really wish, and I could try it, but I don't think it'll work. I could try to uh, talk uh, um, the guy, Sun. Um, now Sun Chuen definitely, you can't talk him into quitting. He's not gonna. However, you might be able to talk Lu Zeng. I've seen Lu Zeng give in to me when he had like five provinces left. Of course, that's when I had the rest of the country in my hands. Uh, so let's take a look here. Wow, look at a loyalty going here. All right, who's our, uh, let's get Kao Zhang back up. And it's probably gonna take a little bit to get these guys moving again. But we'll have time, because this is not one of the formations I need to really uh, get moving. Let me see what's over there in province 35 while I'm at it. While I've got a free man here. Let's go check it out. What do we got? Okay, that's their largest troop concentration. 223 troops. Nobody really worthy of uh, anything. Meng Da. Who the hell is Meng Da? Not related to Meng Ho, I don't think. Meng Ho doesn't generate until the last uh, scenario there. So you won't see him anyway. Okay. And for some reason we gave Lu Meng all his soldiers. It's pretty dumb. Let's hope we don't get hired away. Uh, but like I said, I don't think this column's moving anytime soon. What do we got here in Jing? Well, I'll tell you what we do have is we have a couple of, uh, yeah, Wei Yan, who is loyal for whatever reason. You see our trust uh, thing really has not changed at all since the beginning of the game. And we just haven't had a chance to prove our trust because we haven't really allied with anyone to help them out. It's really unnecessary. I, even on the higher difficulties, I don't think I beat this game on difficulty three before, but I certainly beat it on difficulty two. And it's just, it's just better just to bowl people over. Um, when I was a kid, of course, that was not uh, how I conducted my uh, whatever there. Oh cool, everybody's pretty loyal. That's funny, huh? All right, let's go ahead and check this out here and see if uh, who exactly can move against 18. Um, this one guy is in good shape. 
uh, loyalty wise. Oh, yeah, that's your con. Okay, so this is going to have to be our, our hammer blow here. We got Gan Ning, who's pretty fairly warlike, and Tan Zoing, uh, but nobody else really. Okay. So we're definitely going to have to send the All Stars against these guys, which is fine with me. Now, they could make a move plunging into us, but of course, that'll ruin up their troop concentration. But I would say a, a victory against uh, Sun Quan in Province 18 would prefigure a overall victory, a general victory. Okay. Okay, you guys could probably move against that province. There's no reason you can't. Well, I mean, we don't got a lot of, like, war ability here. And everybody's reasonably loyal. Yeah, alright, let's do it. No sense waiting. Alright, Xiao Hao Xing. Um, I don't know who I could trust, really. Out of these dorks. Uh, let's make it that guy. Ah, if you betray me, that would suck, because that'll just... Well, then everybody else will flee. Yeah, but yeah, there's nothing really here. There's never been... Ah, I shouldn't have made him first. Because guess what, now... Ah, uh, sure. Yang Hui, he's pretty tough. And by that, I mean he's less... Well, I mean, he's tough, but he's... Somewhat tough. Yeah, I really screwed up there. That was a rookie mistake because you can't choose what order everybody goes in. So there's really not much that can be done to make this a better situation. All right. To continue on here, let's just uh, hurry the hell up here and just take him out. Yeah, fell victim to the uh, whatever. And Ling Bao is there to... Uh, do some ambushing, which is fine. These guys will never fight again anyway. Uh, not that I want them all- Ah, shit! Wow, oh yeah, that would- Okay, I should have probably figured that out. So yeah, I did no damage other than those troops who deserted right at the beginning. Yep. And I feel like I can put all those guys on just like, do whatever the hell you want status. Province 20, probably should put him. Well, maybe not though, because I need to start moving my true power um, eastward. Although they might not get there in enough time to actually do anything. Who's a free general Diamond? That's right. Okay. Uh, province 8, Quang. Uh, very good. What are we going to do here? Oh, uh, there's Sima Yai, who's got plenty of betrayism in him. Uh, you can just hang out. I think Matai's loyalty came actually pretty good. I don't know if that's a Ma brother thing, because I know there's... They say Ma, the Ma brothers show proper respect. But I don't really know what that means. Uh, we'd have to kind of decode that. We'd have to video game uh, decode that. And I'm not really sure I have the chops to do it. Alright, uh, there's a little Zhao fan. We got to stay in his province the whole time, so... He shouldn't be too pissed. Let's see, what do we got here? 400, Lu Zun, he's pretty good. He died, yeah, 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 he's uh, the advisor, that's right. Hey, look, he's got very high abilities. You could do worse than to make him your uh, overall ruler. Um, is it Lu Zun or Lu Shu? I can't remember, the one who uh, basically gets friggin' jerked around by uh, Lu Bei, who doesn't want to give him his land back. Uh, which is, yeah, all right. So anyway, there are other troop formations uh, in the other provinces other than, I would say, 18 and 20. I haven't seen 24 in a while, but they've got a pretty uh, good group of... Uh, all right, let's see, how are we looking? Okay, how's everybody's loyalty looking? Good, let's move. Ah! Right, can't do it this turn. Okay. And then these guys can't do anything. Okay, I'm gonna have to delegate all kinds of provinces next turn. And then I'm gonna have to start selling, sending some of my troop power. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I was afraid that might happen. Let's see, I got like zero troops here. Yep, okay. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and flee. Yeah, we draw a whole army. Yes, we draw the whole thing, man. Alright, that's fine. I'm just kind of lame, but it's also, it's alright. 
I mean, how could he resist, right? Alright, who do you want to recruit? Yang Ping? No, you can't have him. Man. Uh, no, I'll just use that letter. <coughs> I won't capture it, just to be nice. Alright. So let's go ahead and try to threat. See if a threat will work against old Lu Zhang there. He was plenty angry at us, of course. As you know, you might be. Nah, he doesn't think it'll work. Alright, whatever. Alright, how are things looking? Okay. Okay, I'm well, probably looking loyalty wise. Yeah, Zhu Huang, you just can't keep him loyal, can you? Alright, Wu Yai is loyal enough. Alright, what else are we doing here? Let's go ahead and delegate. We're gonna fight this turn, by the way, in case you were uh, unclear about that. So, yeah, I don't want Sima Yai. I'm willing to just keep him in Province A as a guy. But he can, he can actually betray you, do the whole Tiger Wolf business. And if he does that, well, it's not good. You know, I could probably have my guys, yeah, yeah, I could probably have my guys from 41 attacking as well. But yeah, because they could probably take it. All right, so let's think uh, what to do here. So, I want to invade, of course. Let's start moving uh, some of our, okay, so war ability-wise, good. Zhu Huang, you're not loyal enough, and I don't need you. Um... Actually, I probably don't need a lot of these guys. How about, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's move some of our other guys. Our other guys. Let's start moving them on over. Um, yeah, to the other front. So that we can uh, bring more force to bear. Now, thus freed up from the also-rans. And not the also-rans, because some of them are pretty... Pretty tough, I would say. Um, is everybody here good loyalty? Eh, okay, so whatever. So let's go ahead and just uh, go into this war here. With, uh, yeah, these guys right here. Ah, Chuko Leon can't come along, that's okay. Um, even though Zhao Guang's loyalty is a little bit lower, I trust him just because he's a member of the Zhao family. I probably should have bought Chuko Leong with, but I had Chuko Leong do something else, obviously, so I couldn't do that. Alright. So, this should not be too hard. Although, this is a, another one of those places which is a great place to defend yourself. Zhang Ren went ahead and decided he wants to try on uh, Xiao Hao Yan, which I appreciate. The Zeng Ren is upper 80s. He looks like he's got a snow cap, which I find kind of neat. I like his uh, look there. Got the stocking cap. Uh, which is pretty cool. But Xiao Hao Yan's no, no slouch in appearance. With his nice beard and his uh, helmet there. His battle helmet. Wow, that was a close one. That's okay. I mean, either way, it's going to work out fine. Um, so Zeng Lu is here. And he's queer? No, he's just here. Um, I'm gonna send him around that side. Cause yeah, there's a, there's a bottleneck as you can see with these mountains. So our ability to really get in there and get the battle going is kind of limited. So luckily they're not trying to set up ambushes, which is a golden missed opportunity. It won't help them much just because of the quality of the generals I've been able to. Ah, well, well so much for that. Okay. They're a little bit smarter than that. They didn't double ambush though. Okay, so I'll say they missed that opportunity. Let's say that. And it's probably, oh, now there's probably nobody there anymore. Because it's generally how that works. Uh, is they'll put their weakest guy. Yeah, he's not there anymore. I just went around a ghost. That's okay, I don't want to walk into an ambush. So generally, yeah, they won't put their actual uh, guys with filled units in an ambush position. Which is kind of silly, really. But it's it's whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go with it. 
Okay, can I get in here? No, okay. That's fine. Um, so we're gonna need to clear this guy out, so... Yeah, go ahead, Guan Zing. And Yang Song ain't gonna do... Well, whatever. It's fine. Um, I would rather have... Had him clear him out. I'm not trying to kill him exactly. But yeah, Zing Lu had his uh, time here in charge of uh, Province 29. That was kind of his haunt in the game. Well, this is in Province 29. I'm sorry. Um, but he's kicked out. And apparently, Zhang Lu is some kind of religious figure of some sort. <coughs> we had some sort of theocratic, uh, theocratic uh, fiefdom uh, going there. Uh, that's, I remember that specifically from the book, that Zhang Lu was some sort of a religious fellow, maybe a Taoist of some sort, and he had this whole kind of uh, deal going, but eventually he was forced to submit to Cao Cao uh, and become a vassal of his. Um, I remember when I read the book, I didn't really understand the uh, fine points of vassalage or feudalism. Ah, oh, good, I didn't kill him. I didn't want to kill him, you know what I mean? I'm a humanitarian. Oh, I wasn't able to capture him. Okay, whatever. Hardly important. Alright, I'm about to charge through him. Well, he yanked by there. So, yeah, I um, didn't really understand the finer points of vassalage and what that would mean. Like, you know, still thinking uh, in terms of the modern nation state, of course. The modern nation state was pretty darn far off at this point. Uh, but don't worry, we'd eventually see that. Okay. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, that whole go around the other side didn't really work out as well as I wanted it to. Okay, finally we're able to do a triple threat attack. I'm not sure what we had for supplies. But I do know if this attack goes well. Is there anybody who can follow up attack? I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. I do know I probably should have moved that guy over a spot. Ah, good, now I can. So I, I um, anyway, I didn't understand uh, the ins and outs and how, you know, these guys could have their own thing, but they could submit, they could just pay tribute to the central government, who at this point would have been in the persona of Cao Cao, who was the prime minister, uh, who was pretty much controlling the government, and had reduced the uh, monarch to a puppet. And, and you know, uh, obviously uh, Lu Bei is meant to look very virtuous, but in a lot of ways, um, but not, not just like that, but just thinking about it, how the Han Dynasty, yeah, you could say they lost the mandate then because they became ineffective at governing and uh, were, not, uh, uh, were no longer useful to the people. So shouldn't the Han Dynasty be overthrown? Or shouldn't some changes be made when the eunuchs were, you know, had all this power that they were abusing? I mean, you could see that. I mean, obviously being an important thing. Holy crap, Zhang Lu is getting definitely very fire happy. He's a real fire bug. Um, but that's okay. Because we are able to escape like huge damage from this. Yeah, I still don't want to withdraw. He's apparently very bullish on his chances of not, uh, I don't know what he's trying to do here. Whatever it is, it's not going to work too well, too well for him. The problem is, even if I do capture the leader here and behead him, which I probably wouldn't anyway. Ah! They couldn't get past him. Yeah. I was, uh, you know, I said earlier that uh, the whole uh, fire trick had worked, uh, you know, had not really worked to its uh, perfection yet, where it stood me in one spot. I was expecting that charge attack to work very well, and it worked not at all. Um, so I was very surprised uh, that we had such negative results. Anyway, yeah, I had no choice but to run away. Good, I took that guy who had 50-some dudes. I'll take his dudes and I'll fire him. Ha, ha! All right, I gotta retake 33, which is, oh no, I'll take a lot of people's, I can take and fire them. So we can refill our people fairly quickly there. Uh, 
So province 30 is now in our hands. <coughs> and it's almost not worth it to worry about uh, as far as uh, will my guys rebel? Will they be, uh, yep, will they be recruited away? Uh, because it almost doesn't matter anymore. Uh, well, no, it's not that it doesn't matter. It's just there's nobody to recruit them. You know, recruited by who? Recruited to who? Uh, it's so tough to get at my guys here because they're so far away. The only thing that's important is my main battlers uh, remain loyal, uh, which, you know, that's, that is a, that's an issue. It certainly can be an issue anyway. All right, so let's take a look at uh, how we're doing here. I want to look at that loyalty again. Okay, Xiao done still 90. Okay, everybody's still pretty good, the guys I care about. All right, so these guys are pretty much ready to move. Uh, but the thing is, if they move, you know, the A17's got to move at the same time. We can't, we can't have them move, you know, one at a time. It just won't work out. Let me look at what we have in Province 32. Okay, all right, it's on you, yeah. Yeah, okay. You might be able to actually finish these guys off. Okay. There's no reason why you can't. Um, so yeah, I say we go in and take out 35. Oh, let's go ahead and reassign the troops here. Uh, that will leave Xiao Hao way out of the battle. I think that's fine. Although it's really kind of a waste, but uh, whatever. Yep, and they can't one. <laughs> All right, good. So yeah, let's just continue the fight here. How are we doing on everything else? Uh, not bad, not bad at all, okay. 400 is more than enough to completely uh, decimate this guy. Yeah, so we got so many good guys here, but unfortunately, they're, it's going to take us a few turns to get them all the way across the board. And they're almost like not needed at this point either. So that's another part of it. Alright, so there we go. Another battle here. It's going to take us a while to get over there. Zushu, they refuse to fight. Of course they would. Why wouldn't they? As long as nobody betrays, even if somebody does betray us, it would be hard for me to see a way in which this battle will not go in my favor. And it, it would be Zhu Xu, he would be the only one I would believe who would actually betray us. Um, let's see, how are we doing? How are they doing on rice? Oh, they're fine on rice. Okay, it's just he's coming towards us, and a lot of times that means uh, they're low on rice, so that'll happen a lot of the time. Uh, you haven't seen too many battles where I had somebody just totally hosed on rice. I think we did have it one time. It was pretty much the end of the dude. Uh, let's go ahead and charge past him. Hey, cool, it worked, although I didn't get the better of it, casualty-wise. That's okay, though. Yeah, the most important thing, the biggest thing about Lu Zhang, the hardest thing about him is not, he has a few good generals in the upper 80s, um, but that's really the extent of it. He doesn't have uh, too much more than a few generals in the upper 80s. He does have a few smart guys. He has a few charming guys. But he just tends to stay turtled up in province 33 and some of the outlying provinces. He never makes a serious go at anything. Uh, kind of like Lu Biao, as you'll, you might remember him from uh, when I played through from the first scenario. Lu Biao is in 20 and he pretty much just stays in 20. He might occasionally attack into 19 or 21 depending on if the situation favors him greatly. But he's not, he's not predisposed uh, to take offensive action. That's just not, that's not in his book of, uh, it's not in his uh, book of tricks. Book of tricks is bag of tricks. He's just, he's not gonna do that. Naturally. Who we got in charge here anyway? Okay. be a lot of generals out on the street because I don't need all these generals anymore. Although it would be kind of shit if like uh, one of them did get 
Because if your governor gets, uh, and I think I've said this a number of times, but I'll just go ahead and repeat it because how long did it take me to beat this game? So, anyway, if your uh, governor gets uh, bribed away, or gets recruited away, that whole province flips on you. Um, so that would be kind of shitty if I had to uh, go ahead and uh, kill, uh, go back and go get one guy who had uh, betrayed me. That would be <clears throat> pretty ridiculous, but that's okay. All right. So this should go down pretty quickly, and I think in the next turn, my brave conquerors from the other province should actually be able to finish the deal. Because uh, I think anybody with any decent war ability has already been uh, captured. So these are definitely way down the bench that they have. It's too bad there's not more um, ways that intelligence and charm come in handy in this game. I mean, war ability is really uh, the grand arbiter of everything. Um, it would be nice, you know, if uh, the charm really played a bigger role. Or, you know, you had some kind of political uh, priorities other than, you know, improving the land, uh, the land value or improving the people's loyalty. I mean, that's pretty important, but it's not... Uh, Ah, he's a smart guy, but I don't need him. And he's got a good graphic, but I don't need him. Wow, he's a pretty dumb dude. Okay. I'll take you because you got some people. <coughs> ah, I'll let you go. Yeah. Oh, dependent of Yan Yi Ji as, uh, whatever, as, uh, spoils there. Who shall I give it to? Who needs it? Does anybody need it? Zen, Zen Yu is already the recipient of one jewel. Alright, let's see. Pao Zhao. Let's see. I need somebody, let's see. Who do I need to be like eternally loyal to me? Um, no, all you losers are loyal anyway. It's a squeaky wheel that gets the grease, you know. What about Guan Ping? Alright, let's give it to Lu Meng. There you go. And hell, I'll even make him governor. Maybe that's not a good choice, but uh, Lu Meng is loyal, just not to me. Okay. What do we got here again? Uh. Uh. Alright. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to cash out Zhang Lu. Well, maybe we will. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Oh, we got Ma Chao. Oh, yeah, these are all the guys we're sending westward. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, who do we got? Yeah, we should be able to defeat him. Pretty lickety split. They don't have anybody good. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. If we can attack him next turn, that'll all work out. And, okay, so I don't need to send anybody from here. Um, yeah, right, I don't need to send anybody from here. Uh, because that province has 300 PRC. But uh, one of those units doesn't have anybody in it. So it is real easy to figure out who we're going to send uh, to win this fight. So this is, uh, this is for the gold. Uh, there's only 11. He only has 11 troops. So all we need to do is clear out... Zhang Lu, which should not be hard considering the, the lack of other troops they have. I'm not going to suggest personal combat, I'll tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Who would have thought Gong Zi would get in on a battle after Jian uh, Jian Wei? Jian? I can't remember his name. But the guy who was in charge of 20, who was really shitty, and Gong Zi is only slightly worse than him. Or is he worse than him? I don't know. He might be better. Ugh. You guys in your fire setting. Okay. We need to charge in there. Thank you. Although it's kind of mean that you killed old Lu Zun there, but we had no choice. Where the hell is uh, Yang Ren going? Is he he's just going... He's heading now? Alright. Well, this will be over very quickly. See, I made sure to time this so that he would not have been able to uh, reconstitute 
his uh, castle defense group there, and as such, I don't actually need to fight hardly any of these guys. You know? Ah, that's unfortunate. Alright, we should be able to win at this turn. I said. Yeah, let's have him charge the castle. Nope, wow. I worked out all kinds of shit. There we go. Well, that's the end of it anyway. But yeah, lose way more men than we should have. But old Gong Zi did, did a valuable service to us. Uh, in his role as whatever. Uh, we don't need any more of you. I know you got a hundred dudes, but you're all... You're all early retirement. There's the former advisor for old Lu Biao. Who's old as hell now. Yeah, cool graphic. Uh, yeah, we got no choice but to behead him. He's a pretty good lord, though. He's got 80 intelligence, 70 war, and 88 charm. So that's that's pretty high. He would uh, he would be a fantastic lord. And now I'm at 30 minutes for darn uh, for Pete's sake. So let me go ahead and cut this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Wait, let me actually wait till I get to the next thing so you don't feel like you missed anything. Okay, cool. See you later. Bye-bye.